like it's fine like you can have your conversations whenever but it's black and yellow talk with gamers time you know what i'm saying <laughs> see that that was actually more like there you go you know what's happening i'm not trolling yes. <laughs> it was a I? good job or like <laughs> yeah i hope he's not okay he's not good i was like i hope he's not what trolling be pretty you hope i'm not trolling Nice. I don't try I'm waiting to like see I'm waiting to see you like cut the feet like at a moment's notice. <laughs> I might do it next I'm really time. laughing so much because you started it as I was scratching the back of my head like a dog. Wow <laughs> oh, wow wow wow. Hey wow 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 you, you, you have you. to do it. Well yeah, welcome to the Black and Yellow Taco Gamers Podcast. I am your host, Blackatron, aka Darknesses. AKA holy shit who turned out the lights and next to me on my right is Commander Cluck Cluck. Uh I'm out. <laughs> uh, and then on my left is uh Rakutsu. Uh loves his jutsus. Uh his favorite Breakfast is fruit loops. <laughs> we are off to like an amazing start, and I hope they got so many people just like click that recently started button and just got to us for that. Yeah, that, we can only be so lucky. Recently started button? Huh? Oh uh, yeah, the, isn't there a button at the front that says uh, people? Yo, who I don't, don't use Twitch at all. Yeah, okay. I don't use Twitch. I I don't really either. It always leaves me twitching. Been doing this for like twenty. Three weeks. Well, yeah. So, we're here to talk about anime, as always, um, and games. Once in a once a month, I think we're at that point now. And as much as we love games, it's just that anime comes uh, so abundantly, and we're gonna keep talking about it because that's what we like, motherfuckers. So, mm -hmm. uh, this week we're gonna be talking about anime ships and my best ships. And we're not talking about, was it Ken Cole, whatever that shit's called? Ken Cole. I fucking hate that shit. I remember when I first saw that series, I was like, huh, this is interesting. I remember, like, I'm pretty sure I was talking to Mark when I first saw it, because I was like, huh, this is uh, not that bad. This is not. And then they start turning to ships, and I'm like, what the fuck? What the fuck? Well, like, wasn't, like, the opening of episode one, like, when they were skating on the water? I didn't see the opening. Yeah, it's With just skating on water. water. That's all it is. <sighs> it, yeah, that, no, no, no. Here's the great thing about this, and again, why I think this topic should be about actual ship girls. Those arrows, <laughs> she was an aircraft carrier. So as she fired the arrows dressed as a Miko princess, or it, not Miko, uh, it's princess, launching a plane. it turns into a plane. And that's how she was an aircraft carrier, firing off planes. It I was... wish I could remove you from this plane of existence. <laughs> Anyway, sorry yeah. for that. Shadow Realm. Sorry, that was playing Did over me. Did you trigger your trap card? Triggered. Sorry. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about some interesting stuff. Uh, one thing I did want to bring up, because I'm going to give it to Nick again this time, because this is his topic. He, he loves coming up with these creative topics that everyone loves to hear about. And this is my <laughs> I just wanted to say, you know, with, with ships, like relationships not ships that you skate on there are different kinds there's different uh kinds of uh relationships you could think of especially like you have series where like people have like a uh, headcanon where yes you know oh, people yeah. truly believe that these two people should be together when they obviously so should not the story will never allow it it just shouldn't be a thing. So, whenever I think ships, I think how terrible some ships could be. And how much shipwreck there would be. Yeah, I said it. Well, yeah. That's all you, dude. Alright. So, shipping in general. Um, it's something that actually one of my oldest friends enlightened me about. Oh, man. I love when he starts way, way with these. Back in the day. Yeah. Not Kenny, though. Oh, okay. not, not that one. But pretty much, 
it was I was just remember it was uh, when Tumblr was just starting out and she was into very traditional girl moment stuff so it's mostly like a boy love sort of things oh. so it's like Harry Harry uh, Harry X uh, whoever why why do you start with and this? No, because we started off with bad ships. Oh, my bad. So okay, go ahead. Talk about your boys' love. This is, like, the worst kind of thing. Is like, girls will be into this. And for the longest time, this was, like, really weird because a lot of the women I either was dating or seeing or whatever were the kind who, at one level or another, really liked that sort of thing, especially, like, anime characters, like Naruto, Sasuke stuff. And it would be, like, a joke, and I wouldn't touch on it but it's one of those things where you're just silent and like, yeah, that's kind of weird. But whatever. So Should have been a sign. This has become such a culture, it has actually become a huge joke. Get that shit out of here. For a lot of people. <laughs> <laughs> so Sorry, this is like, half of the best ship of uh, free. Oh, God. I just, yeah. <laughs> I, guess so you're, funny. I guess you're free to make your own decisions. Uh, uh, no, I, I don't ship anything in that show. It's, I, my it's, friend gave me these posters as a joke. Yeah, the, the, the Yaoi stuff, even Yuri stuff, it, it, like, it, it doesn't really... Which one? Are we talking about or, Ice? Anyway. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> King Tangents right here. Sorry. But no, um, what I was getting at was the, the whole chicks being into boy love scenarios being a uh, thing was hilarious because it's now a genre to make fun of that sort of thing. Love Tyrant is probably the most recent example we've got, oh, man. where yeah. this girl is like is a Cupid, but for her hobby, she pairs men together. Attractive men, because she likes boy love. And even like Yuri, uh, incest, she's very uh, stereotypical, makes fun of all of the, the weird quirks that... Uh, Japan gets made fun of as of late. So really, it's entertaining that it's become this sort of cultural thing now to make fun of people who are into this because it's such a common thing. It now makes sense to be made fun of. It's a stereotype now. So it's... I guess, yeah, I, I guess what I'm just trying to get at is these weird shippings are actually something that's so commonplace it's become a stereotype to mock. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, yeah. Because another example that I liked yeah. of this that actually worked and made sense, and I liked the, oh, I liked Love Tyrant too, but another one that I really enjoyed, Kenny gave me shit for, was Dice Kiss Him Not Me. Yeah. Which was just an it's a reverse harem. So there, they did a good job of avoiding a lot of the pitfalls of a harem. But before I go into harem, even, I wanted to ask uh, Mark over here and or Kenny. What other stereotypes can you think of that have kind of been brought on by this concept of shipping where fictional characters... I think that this fictional character should be with another fictional character, either from that same series, so oh, again, man. like that Snipe, Snape x Harry thing, or across genres where Naruto and Goku would be a great friggin' couple. Like, oh, what's... Give me some bad examples. I'm gonna hate this so much. Go ahead. <laughs> No, can you start? No, it's you. He asked you. I am here for the ride. I said both of you. No, both you. you said. He said both of us. No, 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 it's not true. You're going first. He mentioned you first and said potentially okay. me. So, go ahead. Okay. You can go after. Mm, I don't really know any like good examples of bad shipping. You don't know any good examples of bad shipping. Yeah. yeah. Or like um, awkward, stereotyped weird out of when we're place. talking bad shipping are we talking the idea that two characters are shipped that's like a headcanon specifically like um i think kisniver happened like that where like some people are like oh yeah um Ooh. that was a good that, that was a, no uh, uh that was a good example in my opinion of can very contested it's it's that same argument of best girl who is best girl for for this character like 
that, that, that I think ties into an actual good conversation where it's, I think that, that girl A and the main character should be together. Kenny thinks girl B. Mark says, no, you're both idiots. He should be with boy one. It, it, that, I think, is a good scenario. I think that's a good discussion. Yeah. But again, like, feel free to... Redhead. Fight me. <laughs> so I'm trying to remember the names without looking it up. I, I think... Chidori. Wait, wait, wait stop, Chidori. stop, stop, stop. It's so, <laughs> the guy, isn't it like Katsu something? Katsu Shiro? Like Katsu Curry or something like that. Oh, that makes sense, actually. Because all the girls want to eat him up. God damn it. Sorry. What is it? I totally planned that. Oh, fuck, I swear. Dude. I, it's going to bother me now. I need to know what the names are. Because, like, that's, like, a super big thing. Okay, yeah. So, Kat Katsuhira. I oh, Katsuhira, that. yeah. Yes. Katsuhira and Sonozaki. That's, that's, that's canon. That, that happens. Yes. Yeah. While everyone is like, fuck you, Chidori, Katsuhira. Hira. Like, that's how it should be. And it's like, no, fuck you, dude. Like, should have been Katsudori. Come on. There was no indication that there was ever going to be a thing. It was extremely yeah. one-sided. And Yo, there was she... another love interest. So she didn't need to go in that direction. Her uh, path through the story is her realizing, you know, that she, he's not my end point and there's other options, essentially. And, like... Yeah. She conquered her own issues, which everyone did in that series. Fucking Breakfast Club. <sighs> <laughs> I forgot. I forgot we coined it that. <laughs> well, we <laughs> didn't, but somebody else everyone did. did. Right, and then I got, captured we, it. That we, I'm sorry, not that we coined it, but the that anime we Breakfast were Club. Referring yeah. To, yeah, we were referring to the community to as a whole. Yeah. yeah. Well, um, I think it was Nico and. Nico Tenga, right? That was, yeah. like, supposed to be another yeah. uh, ship that didn't happen. But Tenga liked um, Chidori. Yeah. But with... Uh, it was a chain. It was a really awful chain. It was, it was so, does Nico... It was just, Ni like, a one-way chain. It wasn't even, like, a triangle. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, with Nico, Nick, who does that character remind you of in a, a show that you watched this season? Oh, um, Yuzu. 100% Yuzu. Yeah, okay. And so I thought I thought you would say the same oh, thing. Yeah. Okay. No, nope, yeah. absolutely zero <laughs> um, doubt. Um, and the, the character we're describing, the characters we're describing, are very bubbly, blonde, happy on the outside, but really actually quite insecure on the inside. Yeah. Characters. Yuzu is much more comical on the outside, but also, she is still have like that. She does still have that pain where she loves her sister, because her sister has represented this defense in her heart and alluding to the harem discussion we're going to be having in a bit oh, man. it's one of those things where she really loves her sister they actually quantified in one scene in, in love tyrant where she has like a um, triple a plus plus or triple s plus 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 or triple a plus 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 affection for her sister Akane uh, whereas she actually has like a B plus feelings for the guy in this and she's very sundere about it she's like no no I don't like him who would like him at all blah blah but um, again that's that's a traditional sundere where she's cold and kind of hostile on the outside but realistically very sweet and loving on the inside towards that character mm -hmm. um before you continue, I, mean, I do want yeah. to say this. Helga was the first soon did I ever seen in my life. Yes. From here on out. Yeah. <laughs> Literally, yeah. soon did I. I, I just, it just is... hit me just now, and I was like, dude, that's perfect AF. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. Continue. <laughs> so, I mean, that's actually a good segue right there to the uh, alternatives. Uh, where I see watch Kisniver if you find a, yeah watch Kisniver yeah. Uh, that's a good example for coupling but when it comes to Sundere's I, I feel that uh, both in fiction and IRL I note 
more in common with that uh, like that archetype to the women I'm into, and I can usually like those characters more because I feel it adds a, a certain depth to it. I know Mark is a thing for yonder is that that's his shtick. Only in fiction, uh, really. Oh, okay. Is she watching? So... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but no, uh, what I was gonna get at was, what are some examples of these? other cliches that are part of relationships that you guys can think of like again ships what are some good sundere ships uh what are some good yandere ones that only minimally end in death and murder so uh, i think with a series um the, the issue with a discussion like this is it just pulls a lot of examples and that's good it keeps the conversation going so like one thing is when I think of all the bad ships, good ships, any ships, really, they always link to another series that makes you uh, highlight each uh, kind of relationship and what's good yep. or bad. So, one that came to mind, surprisingly, uh, in a series I fucking hate, Sword Art. Oh. Sword Art is one fucking character who is loved by every girl he fucking meets. Like, a harem, even though it's not. I thought you were going to bring up something else. <laughs> no, no, no. But the thing yeah, is that chill. you see, like, a relationship <laughs> like his and Asuna's. It's, like, very different than some series where, like, they're in a relationship. It's, like, concrete. They're together. Some anime series, some ships, they never get that far. Like, ever. And I just think it's kind of funny to see um, the contrast between a series like that one where... He's with the girl already. But they're always still showing you all these other perfect ships that he could have. But he's still with Asuna. And how other shows... Like, would you even count Sword Art as a hero? But it is. Yeah. I would count I... it. But the I reason would. why it makes me not count it is because he's with Asuna. Because in a harem, that never happens. They're never with another character. Well, I mean, I feel like it's like Nisegoi. Well, there, that's there was different. that relationship there. There was never a relationship. It was but like, I mean, well, there was, I guess. For the majority <laughs> of the story, everyone believed it. So. Very true. And Nisikoi is a good example as well, because yeah. you have... It's got all the archetypes. All, all of them. Kind of. If not, they're shared between characters. Yeah. So it's like, even if it's, it's lacking in one department, it's there in another. So... Nisekoi is, like, probably one of my uh, favorite series to, like, look at the different characters and personalities and their traits. Yeah. It's very uh, interesting to see how much they contrast to. But I completely uh, diverted from your question. What was the question again? <laughs> Good example of ships that are approached by stereotypes. Like Cinder A, Yonder A. Um, I are mean, approached by stereotypes? Or, or no, are... stuff that, that includes. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said approach. Sure. That includes stereotypes like Would that. Would you so, count yeah. uh, Mira, Mira Nikki? Mira Nikki. That, I was going to say, that's kind of the archetype Yonder A we've got. Um, that, shall, that shall not be named. Uh, also had a Yonder A character with a katana, who is a little more forcefully... Um, <laughs> driven to being a yandere. That was um, a big order right just, there. Just, <laughs> you just. It was a really big order for me to figure out what anime you were talking about. My brain just. It wasn't in order. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad that I wasn't. I fucking it. hate that show. Holy shit. <laughs> so, I, uh. That's so hard to block it out. For those of you who don't know or don't watch us. You can guess what our favorite whipping anime is that we just mock the shit out of. I need to dampen the color on this. This is killing me. Uh, uh, with anyway. Big Order. Mm -hmm. I really hate it. Over uh, time, you would think, oh yeah, you know, give that show some time, maybe it'll grow on you, this, this, and that. No, it just no. strengthens the hate. No the curiosity I have towards it. I literally want to go to Japan and just walk up to the, like, 
everyone that took part in it just slapped them like, what is wrong with you? You should have known this was wrong. You ruined this. Uh, this curse is on you. Ah, shit. Like, no series has put that much uh, of an impact on me negatively. Except school days. And it was because me, as a, a human being, I wasn't ready for that. When I watched School Days. When did you watch School Days? When I was... I don't know. It was when I first, like, got into anime, like, in high school. I was in the anime I was when I was younger, days. but, like, that was, like, Toonami Days. Yeah. Yeah. So when I was in that, high like, school and I revisited School anime, Days was definitely not a Toonami show no. at all by any means. If it was, then our uh, generation would be a lot different. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well... Yeah, it's very true. Oh, so I know we're talking about ships and everything, but I know me and uh, Mark, I'm pretty sure Mark's doing it, the best girl oh, brackets. Yeah. So we're doing best girl brackets in uh, our anime, which you best should girl. totally do if you uh, haven't read it account, which you probably do because you're on the internet. Um, with the best girl brackets, I am enjoying myself just seeing how fucking... Sh- Mm. silly I'll say silly how silly some of these pairings are but I understand why they're silly but if you want to talk about best girls and fight there you go have fun just just throwing that out there not not plugging but it, it's just it's it's a good time somehow Rum and Ram were in the same bracket I don't know there's an issue here <laughs> one's coming out alive we already know who it is oh my god it's the hardest choice ever <laughs> I forgot to vote, so I'm voting right now. <laughs> yeah, so don't totally do that. I just wanted to slip that in. All right, go ahead. Okay. So, Yandere, actually, to be honest, I've really only encountered more in games than actual anime and manga. Like, there's, of course, Yandere Simulator, which I realistically, and I'll admit, Did you play really it? Played. Oh, yeah, I recorded it, because that's the, that is genuinely my best... Uh, YouTube video ever. It got like uh, 1,300, 1,400 views. I, and that was like six months ago. I stopped I stopped watching it. But everything else I've got is like 30 views, but that just shot up. Because people are, I don't know, it's weird. People are drawn to that concept, especially in games. So I know this one guy who actually makes Yandere um, RPG Maker games. His art style is very nice. It's like a pixel animated. And it's great because he makes you fall in love with these characters and then has them rip your hearts out. Because it's not always a yandere. Like, uh... Did they rip your heart out? Yes. Yes. Two-thirds of the time, it's, um... Two-thirds of the time, it's actually a very... Um... What is it? It's a very... Traditional yandere. I'm trying to think. It's like, is traditional a, a real way to describe yandere where... In the relationship, this woman's going to murder you. So eh, I guess so. I think but, if if it's possible, we don't need to talk about this now. Okay. I'd very much like a discussion on the dead airs in general. Okay. So like I personally don't think I know enough, and I know that there's such a long list of them. It's out there, and I need to know. I need to be mm-hmm. educated, and I think our viewers do too, because. I feel like I only know, like, maybe five, max. So, that's a problem. Alright. Well, we could probably touch on that later, anyway. Um, let's see. Alright. I'm just checking any sort of notes I have on the side. I thought you were just cracking your neck. For shipping. No, 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 because I got all my... I actually hurt my neck, too. (laughs) (laughs) So. We've covered bad ships. Uh, good examples of some harem ones, but I'd like to kind of draw that back to to harems as a topic. Pretty much, we've got this thing in anime where it's actually almost become horrifyingly cliche, where there's going to be this very boring drone of a character, and he's going to get all of the ladies. And by all the ladies, I mean he's going to get the mom down the street, the annoying neighbor girl who's had a crush on him her whole life, the best friend, the popular girl in school, 
and this guy's freaking character personality can be described as wet paper bag. Not talking about Sword Art Online in particular, but... Very comparable. Yes. And it's uh, one of those just awful moments where you're kind of looking at this and you wonder to yourself, this would never happen in real life. This can't happen. It, it makes no sense. And harems in general, they don't. They, they, just, they just don't. Either harems or reverse harems. But in anime it's, and manga, it's such a common occurrence to find this sort of insanity so one of the examples we threw out there was kind of sort of on the line which isn't the traditional one a really good example that's come out this past season is love tyrant where it's actually a very communal harem where instead of everyone is going for one character that which is typically the boy mm -hmm. uh, it's a bit of a chain where you've got the boy kind of his sister, not quite in there yet, the insane Yandere, the slightly less insane Sundere, who's in love with the Yandere and kind of has a thing for the, the main character. And then you've got the insane asshole cousin who's just a sadist and wants to <laughs> impale and penetrate people. Take that how you will. And on top of all of this is an insane Cupid. So that that's kind of one of the examples I'm thinking of off the top of my head. What do you guys have for harems that are just kind of like, yeah, harem, all these bitches with this guy. What do? I mean, Nisako is like the most iconic, one of the most iconic ones, really. Um... <sighs> I can agree with because that. I mean, like, what was it? After every chapter, after every episode of the anime, whatever, every time it's brought up, there's always at least two sides to the war for that series. Like, they they like, let you, you Kenny, believe it. If if you ask Kenny who uh, best girl is in that show is, we'll give you a different answer than I will. Dude, on was it on a data? Onodera? Onodera's best my girl. choice. Okay. Best girl, dude. You're lying. Yeah, you, yeah. you are lying so much her, right dude. now. Holy shit. She's so bad. Uh, she's, bad she's not bad. Uh, like, she's not good. And before we get into all this, <laughs> this is the kind of things that happen. <laughs> this is what we were talking about, audience. This is literally exactly what we're... So, Nisekoi, right? With... I used to like Chitoge, right? Initially. I thought Chitoge was cool because I was into that for Chitoge's some reason. Chitoge's the blonde one, right? Yeah. Yeah. The gorilla. She's, she's the Sundere. And, yes. Oh, yeah. um, but the thing is that when you have a character like uh, Su Sugumi, I'm all about Sugumi. Sugumi's one of my favorites. And then we have another friend that's just like Tachibana all the way. And it's just like, fuck all your opinions because my best girl's best girl. <laughs> And that's the thing, it <laughs> becomes a debate. Because I have an opinion. Yeah. So, like, um, a show like that is, like, successful. That That's, that's like, a perfect example of a good harem, um, where any choice is right. Not yeah. one is wrong. So, that's, that's always good. Um, if I had to think of one specific harem, because I don't watch a lot of harems, I think the one that I can think of is uh, Tenchi Muya back in the day. That was a good option, you know. That was actually going to be uh, my, my comment, following uh, Mark bring up Nisekoi as the most iconic. I was going to say, I think Tenchi Muyo is for our generation. Yeah. Definitely. Because that was, yeah. I can't was, think of uh, any other that, like, jumps out at me as, like, a good harem. Yeah. And the and thing, you, too, uh, is that seen... there's different stories to it. Have any of you seen uh, Infinite Stratos? I oh, yes. I have not. I avoided no. it at all costs. It's, it's a harem. I bet. There's some mech battles in there, too. <laughs> kind of mech battles. So, um, on Anime Strike on Amazon Prime, <laughs> I'm not going to plug. All right. Um, Armed Girls Machiavellianism is also a harem. Initially, I didn't see it as such. 
But as I gotten through the show, uh, a little over halfway, I have opened my eyes. It is extremely harem, and <laughs> it's it's a good kind of harem. It's comedy, and it's not like uh, overly done. It's I think uh, it's it's comedic uh, delivery is I would say I wouldn't say better than Love Tyrant, but it's up there. Like the fact that you're like the main character uh, Nomura. He walks into like a battle he thinks he's going into as like uh, he's going to sumo wrestle with this this big uh, with these classmates and he's like oh I'm ready for this. He walks up ready to fight and then realizes it's a bear he has to fight. After he sumo wrestles wrestles the bear <laughs> he has to box the bear. <laughs> like I can't help but just be so impressed with this show because I just didn't I never expected to. T- expect them to take it to the next level every time and all of the girls that he encounters they're all very different not like you'll never see any similarities between any of them which is good but there's never like a clear line as to which girl he will get with except this one girl because it seems like he actually cares about her versus the other ones so that's always interesting so the fact that we have like a new series, or well, two new series this season, that hits on harems correctly and does it uh, uniquely, versus, um, you know, like we haven't had a good harem since before that versus Nisquay. I can't think of a good one. Oh, oh, what's that one, uh, Mark? Uh, Grisaya. Oh uh, yeah. But that's a, a visual novel, which brings I it to a whole we, other we story. Go finish that <laughs> visual novel. Yeah. I started watching the anime, and um, the main character is voiced by the villain from Psychopaths, which throws me off so bad. Because <laughs> he has oh, this, like, one. villainous voice actor, but he sounds like, you know... I mean, he kind of is a villainous like a main character. Protagonist. I guess. He's like an... He's fucking everyone. Hero, really. That's the problem. <laughs> That's his choice if he wants to, you know, go and fuck everyone. Yeah, but I mean, he also isn't the, uh... The blank slate protagonist like another other hands. Oh my god. Uh... He actually has a little bit of depth to him. A little personality. Yeah, and he has a past. Which yeah. actually makes him interesting. That's another thing, too, is that... Um, what Nisquay does right, as you mentioned before, there's two sides. And Nisquay does very well at making you either um, like like them initially or hate them and then make you understand why you hate them, but they're actually mm-hmm. not bad. So, that's always good. If you haven't watched Nisquay, you should probably watch it. Um, I can't say you should read it because I haven't finished it. Um, you know. I finished it. Go ahead and read it. So, you can listen to Mark can, about you can, that. You, you can watch it. And then if you want more, go ahead and read it. Yeah, because that's what he did. Yeah. Fucking nerd. Yeah, it was a pretty decent ending. Would you say it was a good ending? It was a pretty decent ending. See, the thing with ships, too, is that ships can go into... I feel like... Could have ended I... better, but it was a pretty good ending. <laughs> I, watch... ending. I watch a lot of harems and stuff like that here and there. No, no, I don't. But enough to know what's good. <laughs> Now, I think I have more to say when it comes to manga, because I watch, I read so much Slice of Life that it's so hard not to see a good, you know, relationship develop there. Especially like since Kimi no Iromachi. Kimi no Iromachi, uh, GE, uh, Ichigo 100%, uh, Domestic, a whole bunch of other series. Um, and all the old series that everyone else knows about. So, uh, again, it's it's funny that you guys again have that whole impact on this, and it's it's funny that again I came up with this idea when this is definitely not <laughs> my this is not my shtick. This is not my forte. This Dude, is you look like realm. you just. Our own love, man. <laughs> I couldn't say I was straight face. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 
Yeah, we'll say we'll say that. We'll say that. Uh, That's what not, you. Not oh wait. The mess. That is my personal life. So we told Nick to watch Fuka, and yeah, uh. when you read Fuka, <laughs> you you know what shit's going down, and I'm pretty sure that was a series where it was like, is he gonna like this? Wasn't that one of those series where, like, is Nick really going to like this because of his, uh, you know? Yeah. <laughs> it sounds like a handicap. Like, he Just, can't uh... feel. <laughs> <laughs> he can't feel. Or he does, but it's never in the middle. It's always at one end or the other. Yeah, yeah. It's that's either a, anger. It's <laughs> oh! Golden time. Yeah. You know yeah. what? There that was some good one. ships in there. So that one, thank of, you for reminding me. A lot me. of good shipping in there. Dude, the best ship is the two dudes. <laughs> Dude, that's Ginos and Sintama, uh, Satama. <laughs> you know that, right? Same voice what? actors. Yeah, yeah. Ginos and Satama. Yeah. Really? Yeah, <laughs> same voice actors. That's fucking crazy. It's great, but yeah. So, yeah, those are the, that's the best. Uh... Damn, fuck. Now I'm thinking of like so because you brought up boys love today, asshole. Uh, I was thinking of uh, Edo Manga Sensei and how like yes. one of the the um, the one of the white novel uh, <laughs> writers keeps thinking that he's gay and it's so funny. Uh, <laughs> it's so funny. Kiss number two. <laughs> <laughs> Just like freaks the fuck out. <laughs> that was like the highlight of the episode. Dude, Japanese voice actors are just the best. Like, oh, especially that kind of shrill people. only comes from a Japanese voice actor. <laughs> it's so uh, good. Holy shit. Need more of that in my life. But yeah, golden time. Great golden series. time was definitely a golden time. There it's, are definitely uh, some excellent ships in there. Yes. Unless it's ramen, really it, it's uh, lunchtime. Anyway, I'm out. No, you that... don't get it. <laughs> no, you no. remember that one part when he was like, he had the the ramen pack. Oh my god, yes, I remember, yeah, the, the dad, the dad. Yeah, he like snuck up yes. and he walked up yeah. in the room, he's like, Dad, what are you doing here? And he's like, what, it's not my fault, it's lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> that was like that my was picture the... on Skype for so yeah, long. I completely <laughs> forgot about that. Kenny posted that into our chat, we're just like, what the fuck is wrong with Literally you? Literally the best part of the whole show. Like, I oh, yeah. died laughing, I thought it was great. And that's the thing about that show, specifically, is you want these two characters to be together initially but you're swayed to think otherwise you know what's show. great about Especially that this one ship that totally tries to veer everyone off course yep. yeah steered me off course. i i uh yeah linda uh linda senpai yeah linda senpai who i i still like don't get me wrong i loved coco but i still think that that, that's how that should have ended. But Dying like, of fire. She oh, she shoot. came to, she came to terms with it, so I came to terms with it. Yeah. Um, I don't think I ever told Mark. I actually made an AMV for a con submission, off of that. That was like the first video I ever like put a lot of effort into editing. Did I ever tell you that, Mark? No, but Kenny yeah. over here is calling. Yeah, no, I made an AMV for uh for uh. AMVs so, are uh, fun. I guess, yeah, no, 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 but uh, our fr one of our friends is really good at it. Like, the dude, fucking oh, yeah. Yeah. beautiful, beautiful, Francis. Uh, Matt. Uh, oh, fuck, why did I say Francis? Wow, yeah, right? he's so good. That was, that was <laughs> actually what I was thinking of, but I said, I said Francis for some fucking reason. I mean, they're uh, all together, so. Yeah. Francis from, uh, <laughs> Francis from Deadpool. <laughs> I haven't talked to either of those men in like eight years. How dare you oh, forget shit. someone you haven't talked to in eight years? Goddamn. Yeah, no, no it's, it's funny because Mark's Mark statement. But, uh, <laughs> no. 
No, uh, I'd, I'd made that uh, AMV for that. And that's the only the only time I've ever made something like that. And that, that was to, uh, it was like those end scenes where he's like kind of come in terms with like his love for Coco over his old feelings for um, uh, Linda and all of that. And that was a really good uh, example of a very interesting dynamic on a ship where this guy had amnesia and his old senpai like and he were in love with one another and then he got hit by a fucking scooter going to like acknowledge like they went to meet on a pier or a bridge i can't remember and he was gonna like reciprocate like they were gonna be like yeah no we love each other i know you're going off to college next year but uh i i will like we'll we'll be together like we'll, we'll start dating and as he goes to do this he got hit by a scooter or something and he just like lost his amnesia he was out for like a year or some shit like that and he comes back and he's like a completely different person so he actually meets this girl again and it's really depressing because you can see it, if you ever rewatch it too it's really awful because you see it in her eyes like they animated just genuine sadness i feel like they they told one of their art interns hey listen there was an accent in your you, huh Oh, I feel like they had taken one of the art interns and said, "Hey, listen, um, your your father was in an accident and he he didn't make it." And they took like that look in that person's eyes and just fucking captured that in. in and then, of course, afterwards when they said sorry, we needed that for a reference shot, and that person subsequently quit. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was worth it because that animation, that like look that they drew in was very meaningful and very good. But it was subtle enough that you didn't like just automatically catch it unless you were looking for it. Yeah, makes sense. So, uh, again, it was a very pained reaction because, I mean, this girl looks at a guy who, like, they, they were in love. And then he lost his memory and then he fell in love with some other crazy chick. And Literally it crazy. was, huh? Literally crazy chick. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And uh, I mean, it, it it was a very. I'm sorry, I'm I'm kind of digressing. It was a very interesting dynamic because again, it was that is this like I don't know what what is a better shipping in that scenario where his old self, his arguably true self as in his like first mentality was all for Linda but the he that he was at that point and even after he regained those memories was in love with Coco so and it's not like he's the I same character either yeah it's not like he's the same character he's grown so, as a person but he kind of is at the same time so he's you gotta recognized really new things that's another yes. thing like yes. the, the uh, fuck I forgot what his, his nickname was for her uh, um Bond, I can't remember Bondry? Something like that? I don't remember. Bondry, but... yeah, Bondry. Bondry, that was... That was so, what, like, that was what... her Bondry is not the same character, yeah. so, like... And obviously... I think that, that was... Uh, so she said something like that. It's like, you're not the same person I was in love with. And I can and I can live with that. Go, go be with Coco. Mm -hmm. Which is really weird, because, like, he was running the same path that he got hit by the scooter on, and she was, like, running it, too. And at first, I'm like, is, is this just in his head? Is this just like his mental thought process? And I guess it was actually her, but still, it was kind of weird. Um. But, so, uh, golden sorry, time... we're we're going all over the place. No, golden, golden time's, time's good. good. What about? I'm not sure if this is um, something you'd bring up. Because like golden time is not a harem. It's not. No, you're lying, April. The thing about that, though, the thing about that show, though, um, I love. I still love how after a year of not watching it and almost not spoiled no. when I finally decide to watch it, Nelson. Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, Sorry, there, was like almost, there was almost no like. What's the word? Romantic tension in that show at all. It was extremely subtle. Extremely, like, the smallest 
of inclinations, but it wasn't like a thing ever. But with but it um, wasn't even like the two main characters. That's the thing. Like where that it, tension was. I feel like the tension was only on the childhood friend and him versus her. But it was also her, as in the childhood friend, um, putting more, uh, like, attempting to give another relationship a shot, but then realizing how much she loves, uh, I'm trying to think of the name, is it Arima? Arima. Yeah. Arima? Ar I think it yeah. is. Oh, why do we not have Loha for fact-checking? <laughs> yeah, right. That's actually exactly what I was thinking. I was like, man, we need a Loha. Yeah, okay. Like... So I got it. Um, it is Arima. So, or Kose. So, Kose and, and Kaori. That that's that was the ship, right? That That's how it... That was the ship that all the viewers wanted. All the viewers there was wanted. no romantic tension there. But at the Where end of it, you could see it. Not it, really. The picture was no, painted. It's not even there. No? Really? No. Everything that happened between the two of them was for the music. Never anything romantic. I don't know. Wasn't the letter having something to do with it as well? I can't remember what was in the letter. It's been so fucking long. It was from 2014. I don't remember uh, yeah, I don't half remember. the shit from 2014. <sighs> I wish I didn't remember. Wait, 2014. Kill, uh, kill or Kill... Came out around no, there. I liked I liked twenty fourteen. Twenty fourteen was good for you me. You look like twenty fourteen. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> so yeah. Sorry, that was for yeah. your wound. Why? My bad. <laughs> I'm so sorry. It just worked, you know? Uh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Oh! Mark knows. No, I don't. Kuzuna Hankai. Uh. That show was a fucking mess. I mean, like, I didn't really ship anyone in that show. I didn't want any of them together. You're all assholes. All of I them. Mean, Except the wanted, teacher. The teacher was the best wanted. guy. If you wanted a stable pairing, it was there was one there that could have been stable, but they oh. didn't want. Are you talking about the? I know what you're talking about because there was like a pairing that almost happened. No, not no? that one. Not that one. They make a brief mention of it in the in the very end. Oh, you mean what could have happened if they yeah. ended up not doing it? Even though yeah. they probably should have been together? Yeah. Okay, alright, yeah. So, like, that, I just wanted that's to That's like the that. only stable pairing you can get out of there. Mm -hmm. If they put effort into it. Yeah. Everything else could not be stable in that show. Yeah. That show's like literally playing with like a time bomb. Like trying to cut the wires. Yeah. I think they actually did. And but there's too many up. explosive going... Too many explosives going on at once, and it's, like, not good. It actually makes me angry. Especially when you have a triggering-ass character, like, what's-her-face, the teacher. She's... Oh, angry. my God, that teacher. And then, like, I argue with some friends, and they're like, dude, she's the best character in the show. How? Well, because she's doing everything. Everything what? Like, the issues? Because, right. yeah, there she is. She's the conflict. The conflict that, like, was already existing, she just added and created, like, two-thirds of the conflict. And you can't say anything about her, like, being the best character, because she did not, like, have any development at all across no. the entire show. No, she did at the end. That That's barely any development. That's her coming to terms with... Development. With, 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 with... Life. Mm -hmm. but still compromising so Nick, she's stupid very stupid I think she's the best character is the worst I want to ask you this right I want to know out of all of like the anime you've watched your favorite anime that you can think of 
that had like ships, right? Um, who did favorite pairing. who did you ship together, and who do you think popularity ship was? Ooh. Um. Let me think. I know you want to say. Uh, um. Wow, I forgot her name. Senna and Ag. No, 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 I wasn't going to say that. Get out. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it now. Hold on. You want to say... Uh, Ryoko and Mako. Yes. Yep, there you go. That's the best ship. <laughs> it's funny you mentioned that because I was, I was thinking about that too. Um... How there's there's like bromance shipping that I think is actually very. When you say favorite. bromance, as in two like, bros, yeah, you know, like we're bros, or you mean guy, like uh, you mean like guy love between two guys, like okay. Zach Braff and uh, Donald Faison in uh, Scrubs, see, JD and Turk. Did you say like Zach Braff? Nice. Yeah, what did I say? I thought you said Zach Efron. I was like, whoa! <laughs> I, I, might have said, I might have been fucked up and just like completely... No, Zach Braff and uh, Donald Faison. It would be weird that I remember Donald Faison's na uh, name because I can never... I'm probably still pronouncing it. I usually just say Turk and JD, person. even though I do know yeah, the Turk names. and JD. Yeah, that, that's absolutely correct, yeah. Um, well, if you're going to look at it like that, that's where I would think Genos and Saitama. Yeah. Like, yes, that's another that. great one. Where it's just like, especially considering the dynamic shift, where he was really Genos was really just kind of a, a pain in the ass at first, and then it's like Saitama grew to actually give a shit about him, and Genos still has like this utmost respect for Saitama as like the man. mentor. Yeah, like he the is guy. the one you yeah, can he learn is from. The guy. He is the solution to, yeah. to all of life's problems right there is that guy yeah. so uh, one, of, one of my favorite ships would have to probably be just I don't know god help me it's 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 so hard to, to really think of that because there's romantic ones and when it comes to romantic ones the only ones I can really think of off the top of my head are kind of like again golden time that's really it for me um what a if... lot of times yeah um, no a lot of times i'm really not at all down for harems really at all um fuck them to in, in like a soberingly serious mode I, i've always been a huge proponent of like monogamy so i love that concept of a uh, otp kind of thing like that one true pairing where it's like this guy this girl they go through in character development they end up together Yeah. Um, not if they're blood brother and sister and have absolutely no reason to be together, except the fact that the creator of the series is a fucking dude. Unless their their names were written in the kiss note as well. Yeah. They're not blood. Oh yeah, they are blood. They are half blood. Um, half blood. <laughs> so what about a show like um, a comic of kill where like there's so much shit going on, but the ships are there because. You have uh, the main character, and you have Esdef, who, like, absolutely loves him. And then you have Akame, <sighs> which everyone's like, oh, Akame and him. And then you have um, Chelsea, R.I.P. You mm. know. Uh, R.I.P. everyone. She was ahead shows. of the game, you know. Spoiler alert. She was ahead of the game. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> What? Friends, don't leave me. <laughs> That is how the podcast ends for the night. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> so, yeah, Chelsea is... Uh, oh, also, there's the um, the knight that was uh, teaching uh, him. Not, 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 um... Fuck. Yeah, dude, I am really bad What on names name? today. I am so bad at the names. Pump, the Pompadour. 
Yeah. That's all I know him as, a pompadour. So the guy with the pompadour. Yeah. He was uh, also in the running because, you know, he was... Oh, Bulat. Is that his name? Yeah. Bulat. Bulat. Yeah. yeah, Bulat. He was a B. He was... Uh, I remember when they first uh, interacted and then you find out he's gay and it was just, like, the best uh, moment yeah. ever. Like, best reaction. It's, like, his... not even just, like, gay, but really... Yeah, like, really. he gave that, like, every time he looked at uh, Tatsumi, it was just like, yeah. and, like, see the, the shine in his teeth. It was just great. Yeah. <laughs> so, like he just I, that look. I like that only because the fact that there's one girl that obviously loves him, another girl that he fights with that he probably likes, and then there's the, uh, the girl he actually falls for, which you never expected to be her. It's funny because all of those terms can be used to describe it as death. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought about it, I'm like, oh, I mean, as death. Oh, as death. Oh, as Wait, fuck, they all fly to her. Shit. Well, <laughs> that's the thing, too. It's like, for people that read the manga, things were ended a little differently, I think. Um, I didn't actually read it, but I know that the ending of what happens in the anime was kind of... How can I say it? I don't know. Unique. It's, yeah, it was it was unique, and uh, I couldn't get over this chill. Get it? I guess I should let it go, cause they were frozen. Can I leave again? Can we, can we so yeah, it was nice talking to you all. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for the I don't think way. anyone should be sorry. I am the pun master, the blackest of them all, and I say some silly shit. So, thank you so much for watching Black Neo Otaku Gamers. We will have a very uh, fun, 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 fun podcast next week. I don't remember what it is, but I know it's going to be silly. I remember what it is. Let's oh, be man. honest. It's always silly, and yes. It's actually best anime battleships. No, it's not. Like, literal. Don't it's going to be an hour of con call. Don't <laughs> lie to me. <laughs> now I'm, like, checking, because I don't fucking trust you guys. <laughs> oh, I better not be that shit. I was going to be triggered, because I was not ready for that shit. Yeah, I'm happy we fucking got rid of that. Holy shit. All right, so <laughs> you guys have a wonderful evening. Make sure you check out our blog, blackandyellowtalkinggamers.com. Read all our articles. Let us know what you think. Like down below our com our, uh articles and leave a comment let us know what you think really appreciate it any feedback is welcome feedback and uh fuck anime strike all right later guys